Back life meet depression it's day 711 and we're back with another somatic healing session to wipe out depression thank you so much everybody for tuning in now anyone who's tuning in later as you know it's martial arts or mental health show and the first tool we like to focus in on is gratitude my gratitude going out today as always to everyone who's tuning in supporting the cause and supporting each other but also i want to shout out some specific gratitude today to derns and alex out there at diamond cuts in Harrison, New Jersey, for hooking up the sack band with a fresh cut. I waited two months for this. Uh, they do an excellent job out there. If you're in the New Jersey, Harrison area specifically, check them out at Diamond Cuts on Harrison Ave in Harrison, New Jersey. I want to shout out gratitude to those guys. Not only are they awesome stylists and a great place to go to trim the beard and take care of the hair, get you in. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Get you, <laughs> get you looking good and feeling good. But also, they've been supporting the cause tremendously, shouting us out from time to time. They've got our stickers all over the shop, uh, up on the mirror, uh, just been a huge supporter of our cause, and just great people out there at Diamond Cuts. So check them out, ask for Derns, ask for Alex, tell them the sack man sent you. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe something magical will happen. But I want to shout out gratitude to Derns and to Alex and to everybody, the whole crew at Diamond Cuts. Uh, for being so supportive across the whole journey. They're also one of our only businesses that actually support this class. They actually fund this class through that Sack Lifesaver program. I don't have any with me. But they do, uh, from time to time, make donations and pick up some of those stickers, which help us raise awareness and empower others with free tools that can save their lives. So huge, uh, huge gratitude going out to those guys. We make them the feature of our gratitude today. Uh, and that is it for my gratitude section. Go ahead and think about yours. Think about something you're grateful. It doesn't have to be just one thing. It could be multiple things that you're grateful for today. And the more things you have, the better it will work. The more we practice that gratitude tool, the better it will be. The easier it will be to find those silver linings in life and those things to be grateful for no matter what our situation. So think about yours. That will put you in that positive mindset. And we're going to roll into the second mental health tool but before we do that shout out to dj sean fitz mad with hats brett aka so silky one thank you guys and girls so much for supporting the cause appreciate you all for being here so next mental health tool we're going to talk about is that progress tracking tool say 711 of consecutive training for me the sack man let me know how many days it's been for you the more we keep track of that number the more powerful that number can become especially on the bad days uh, when you need a reminder of your strength and endurance, putting that number somewhere like a sign, the physical sign that you can look at, maybe at the foot of your bed is the first thing you see in the morning or somewhere where you can see it, where it's visible. Um, having that visible reminder that you are stronger than those debilitating effects of depression can be a tremendous benefit, especially on those bad days. It's an anchor back into real life. It's an anchor back to the credit that you deserve for putting in the work that you have been putting in and, and being so consistent and making that progress. Shout out to Y and I Music. Love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. The master segment. <laughs> Appreciate that. I'm no master, but uh, do consider myself a jack of many. <laughs> so, uh, working on it. Working on that mastery over here. Uh, thank you guys for your support. You're part of my gratitude section as well. I've been super supportive of the cause. We just talked about the gratitude. We talked about social support. We talked about the list and the progress tracking tool. Now we're going to get into today's lesson. And today we're going to have a low intensity active recovery session. It's day 147 for Mad With Hats and he's grateful for super glue. I don't know why, but hey, I'm grateful for super glue too. It's amazing stuff. Shout out to super glue. And if you, maybe we can get a sponsor, get some super glue up in this show or something. But super glue has come in handy many times. Maybe it's come in handy for you too. If you have a similar super glue experience, feel free to share it out there. Uh, Lisa the Luminary, thank you for being here as well. Thank you so much for being so consistent and showing up and supporting uh, each other and the cause. <laughs> well done. It's a matter of that. So why not? Love that cross support. Super cool to see you guys uh, chatting and, and being supportive and positive out there. Uh, social support, an incredible tool, especially when you're going through critical times as well. Finding a group of like-minded individuals with a growth mindset or going in the direction you want to be going or where you want to be will help you get there faster, will help you make progress faster in your life. Uh, so go out there and find yourself a group. We've got one here for at least a half hour, <laughs> for at least the next 20 minutes. 
Um, but I encourage you to find people like in martial arts uh, schools, you'll find a lot of growth minded individuals, but also out there in other social circles. You know, we're all individuals. We've got to find the things that work for us, the things we enjoy and find like minded individuals um, to share those things with. A lot of friends in the past that I've had, a lot of people in the past that I've known have been very, um, felt very burdened and very drained because they're always going out to do things that other people want to do. Right? They're always trying to support their friends and they're going to do things that they might not necessarily do for themselves. I think a much better approach is to do the things you like, find friends to do those things with, and if they don't like the rest of your life, that's fine. You still have those things in common. Right? We've got this class in common. We can all support each other in this class. We can all be friends in this class. But we might all still have individual lives that are completely different from one another, and that's totally okay. You can find different support groups in those different areas and give yourself a good, uh, great social support structure out there that will continue to benefit you over time. And everybody wins. Nobody's doing anything they don't want to do. Everybody gets to make progress. Everybody uh, stays happy. So. <laughs> That's the goal. Make sure you've got water and you're staying hydrated. Super important. I am running on three hours of sleep, so I might be a little loopy. Apologize ahead of time. I'm working on that sleep schedule. It's, it's a tough one, but we're getting there. Mm. Let's get back on track. We covered all those tools we're going to talk about today's lesson. We're going to mix breath work with moving, movement to create a moving meditation that's super effective, knocking out stress and also training us in the martial arts, improving our accuracy in martial arts, and calming that nervous system. It's all going to be based around a tool known as diaphragmic breathing. If you've been here before, which many of you have, you know this tool already, but we'll practice it for anyone tuning in just now. We're going to start with one hand over the chest, one hand over the belly. We're going to take a deep breath in through the nose to the belly, filling that belly with air. We're going to hold it for a moment, and then long and slow exhale all that air out of the belly through the mouth, with pursed lips. There's several small things you can do here to make this more effective at calming the nervous system. Once you do master this technique, you'll be able to use that breath work tool in any given situation when you are feeling stressful. In a high stress situation, you can always take control back over your automatic nervous system, making it less automatic and more, what's the opposite of, oh, manual, there you go. <laughs> opposite of auto, manual nervous system, manual control. Shout out to Slayer Ken, thank you for being here as well. So we're covering that breath work tool, let's practice it together. Deep breath in through the belly, uh, through the nose to the belly, keeping the chest nice and flat, use the hands as a guide. And three, two, one. Through the nose on the way in, hold that breath for a moment. Long and slow out the mouth. You'll notice my chest stays flat the whole time. Keeping those shoulders relaxed, chin relaxed, standing up nice and straight. Hands as a guide, chest stays flat. Deep breath in through the nose to that belly. Hold on to it. Long and slow exhale out the mouth. As we exhale out the mouth, you want that belly to drop. You want to also put a little resistance between those lips. That further exercises that diaphragmic breathing muscle. Makes it even more effective at calming the nervous system. You might feel the effects already right now with just two breaths if you've been doing it for a while. If not, practice makes perfect, so stick to it. It is a tool. If we use it correctly, it will have its effect. It's not something you have to believe in. It's just something you got to put into practice, and then you'll be armed with another weapon in the fight against depression. So practice that diaphragmic breathing tool. We're going to focus our lesson around it today for 10 minutes straight through. It's going to be very low intensity, and we're going to move through the basic. We're going to start with the basic jab and cross. We're going to move into some elbow strikes, and then we'll move into some uppercuts and maybe some other creative moves, uh, just creative flow set here today, keeping it all at a low intensity, at a slow pace, and we're going to follow that breath as our guide. So on that inhale deep to the belly that we talked about earlier, that's when we're going to take our defensive stance. So take that deep breath into the belly, get the guard up, tuck that chin, get yourself into Muay Thai position. Remember those guides are on sacklifeofficial.com. You can be fully prepared for every class. Once you have that breath in the belly, you're holding your defensive position. We're in a long and slow exhale out the mouth as we rotate and flow into striking position. We're going to keep our strikes to two to three strikes tops to make sure that pace stays nice and slow. Remember to breathe normally in between the instructions. Um, and then once we start, we're going to keep that diaphragmic breathing tool going all the way through for 10 minutes. By the end of the session, you should notice a marked difference in your stress level, in your heart rate, in your state of being calm 
versus anxious. You can check in on yourself right now, see where your thoughts are. If you've got a busy mind, this helps clear a busy mind as well. So you tune into your body, you tune into that moment at the end of the session as well. And we'll have some calming music going. That's it. I'm going to start this timer in a second. We'll get the music going and we're going to get right into the lesson. I'll break down those basics, the fundamentals on the jab and cross. We'll link it in with breath, make it super effective, and give ourselves that active recovery session that we all deserve. Let's do this thing. Bam. Loop mode. Get it. There we go. And if you like this music, it's streaming for free on Spotify. Check it out. Uh, just Google the artist. Just Spotify, search the artist. Sacklifeofficial.com. Let me know how it's working for you. It's also got binaural beats encoded in it that help with sleep if you use headphones. So check it out when you get a chance. All right, that being said, we're going to start this timer. Remember to visualize your opponent. We always visualize that opponent in front of us and acknowledge that it is the depression dummy or the anxiety dummy. Consciously acknowledge that threat, right? And we're going to knock those lies right out of its stupid face as we go through our martial arts movements. Here we go. Let's get this thing started. So from a neutral position, we're going to take that deep breath into the belly. Bring the guard up high by the brow line. Stand up nice and squared, squared shoulders, squared hips with that visualized opponent. We're going to twist through the hips and shoulders as we take a small step forwards, twisting through the hips and the shoulders and extending that fist forwards as we exhale, flowing in to that strike position. Landing on the large two knuckles on that visualized target, squeezing the fist, right, thumb under those two, top two fingers, and then deep inhale back to defensive position. Guard high, you can move in your Muay Thai stance or you can stay solid, it does not matter either one, whichever way you're comfortable. Long and slow exhale, small step forwards on that front foot. Fully exhale out of the mouth, deep inhale back to defensive position. Chin tucked, shoulders rolled, hips curled, knees bent, guard high by the brow line. Long and slow exhale forwards. Twist in through the shoulders, exaggerate that movement, and slow that breath. Slowly exhale that breath out the mouth. Deep inhale back to the belly. Guard high. We're going to add in the cross now. Small step forward. We're twisting through from jab to cross. One long exhale here. Just make it nice and slow. Deep inhale through the nose. Back to defensive position. Guard high by the brow line, you can move in that defense position or you can stand still, either one. Flat foot if you want to take a break, give yourself extra break. Up on the balls of the feet if you want to practice proper form. Long exhale here, jab cross. Two strikes, head stays on the center line, right? Nice and balanced, guard stays high on the opposite hand. We're twisting through those shoulders, we're turning that fist over. Landing with those large two knuckles right on target. Deep inhale back to defensive position. Keep that guard high. Long and slow. Exhale forwards. Head on that center line. We're just aiming for balance. Balance is the focus here. And deep inhale back to the belly. Remember, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Long and slow. flow like water into striking position. Shout out to Savvy. Christina, appreciate you out there for the support. Deep inhale back to defensive position. Breathe in deep into that belly through the nose. Hold the breath for a moment. Long and slow exhale into jab cross. Sending those fists down the center line. Following that breath as a guide. Fully exhale out the mouth and deep inhale back to defensive position. Hold that breath in the belly. Long and slow, exhale forward. Now from our balanced stance, deep inhale back to defense. We want to make that small step with the front foot, tiny step with the front foot, and twist through, rotate on the ball of that foot, through the hips, through the shoulders. Exaggerate those strikes. When we're practicing building that muscle memory. We want to exaggerate those strikes. When we get in the high intensity situation, it'll be nice and tight and we'll have proper form. Deep inhale back to defense. 
Guard high, long and slow. Exhale through jab, cross. Remember to keep a little bend in the knees. That'll help you rotate on the balls of those feet. And deep inhale back. Shake those arms out. Shake out that lactic acid. Let's return to a neutral position and recenter on the breath just to make sure we're calming that nervous system, not getting carried away with the strikes. Deep inhale through the nose to the belly. Hold on to it. Long and slow, exhale out the mouth. We want to make sure that exhale is twice as long as the inhale so we can get that calming effect. Deep inhale through the nose. You can close the eyes to make it more effective. Hold on to that breath in the belly. Long and slow, exhale out the mouth. Twice as long as that inhale. Let's recenter. We're going to switch over to elbow strikes now. Pop into your Muay Thai stance. Deep breath into defense. Guard high. We're going to drop this hand into an invisible pocket on the chest and rotate through. Same way we do for the strikes for the uh, jab and cross. Rotate through. As we take that step forwards, exhale all the way through that strike. Visualize and making contact with the opponent. Tuck in the chin and roll in the shoulder for defense. Guard high on the opposite side. Fully exhale here. And deep inhale back through the nose to the belly. Guard high, long and slow. Exhale into front, elbow strike. Stepping forwards, turning through that body. Fully exhaling out the mouth. And deep inhale back. We're going to add in that second elbow strike. In three, two, one. Long exhale. Swap hands. And rotate on that back foot. Same way we do for the cross. Right? We rotate on the front foot for the jab. Back foot for the cross. Doing the same thing for the elbow strikes. Just different form on the upper body. Deep inhale back to defense. Guard high. Hold that breath, belly in the, that breath in the belly. Long and slow. Exhale forwards. Now you notice I'm using two different defensive styles here. One is closed fist. Fingers braced on the head. The other one is open palm. Either is acceptable. It's a matter of preference. And deep inhale back through the nose to the belly. Hold that breath in the belly, long and slow, exhale through double elbow strikes. Two strikes, one long breath, making that breath twice as long as the inhale, that exhale, nice and slow out the mouth, inhale through the nose, back to defensive stance, breathing deep into the belly, long and slow, exhale forwards, double elbow strikes. Visualize that opponent. Visualize making contact with that opponent, opponent with the pointy part of the elbow there. Keeping it nice and sharp by bringing the wrist in as close as you can to the chest. Twisting through the body, letting the body do the work. Deep inhale back to defensive stance. Guard high, long and slow exhale through double elbows. Fully exhale there. Deep inhale back to defense. And we're going to open it up. We're going to return to the breath for a moment. Make sure we're calm in that system. And we're going to open it up to your creative flow. So you can use any striking pattern you'd like. Just keep it to two or three movements total. And follow the breath as a guide. Let's tune back into that breath for a moment. Deep inhale through the nose. Eyes closed. Breathe deep into that belly. Hold. Long and slow exhale out the mouth. Remember, one at least twice as long exhale as that inhale. Deep inhale through the nose, back to the belly. We shouldn't feel pain or too much pressure here. We just want to fill that belly with air. Breathe nice and slow. And then hold. Long exhale here. You can visualize that breath leaving the body. Take it to another level. Close the eyes. Visualize the breath leaving the body. And the breath entering through the nose, filling your belly with air. Let's take that deep breath in again through the nose to the belly. Chest stays flat, hold. Long and slow exhale here. 
and pursed lips, twice as long on the exhale to calm that nervous system. All right, now we're opening up to free flow. Get creative with it. Use that breath as your guide for movement. And deep inhale to defense. Hold that defense, long exhale through your striking pattern. Any strikes you'd like, have fun with it, use the moves you enjoy. Just keep them at that slow, low intensity pace. Deep inhale back, defensive position, breathing into that belly. Long exhale through that strike. Fully exhale out the mouth, deep inhale back defense, long exhale through the strikes, three is about the max strikes we want to use here, that way we can keep it at a nice controlled pace, deep inhale through the nose to the belly, guard high, long exhale through your strikes, and deep inhale back the belly. You can use checks here as well as part of your striking routine. Long exhale, check the kick. Get creative with those combos. Fully exhale and deep inhale back through the nose to the belly. Guard high, long exhale through those combos. And deep inhale back. A little bit more. Let's get a little bonus round in there. Long exhale strike. Deep inhale back through the nose to the belly. Long exhale forward into double strike. Deep inhale back to the belly. And that is the end of our round. Let's tune back into that breath just for a moment. Make sure we didn't get carried away. And shout out to the Louis Lindo, thank you for your support. Appreciate you out there, appreciate the moment. Um, we're gonna place one hand over the chest, one hand over the belly. Make sure we're calming that nervous system and giving ourselves a break we deserve. Deep inhale through the nose to the belly. Hold on to that breath. Long and slow, exhale out the mouth. Let's go for the tried and true, proven four, seven, eight breath here. Four second inhale to the belly, hold for seven seconds, and then eight second exhale out the mouth together. Three, two, one. Hold. Eight second exhale. Four seconds in, deep to the belly, nice and slow. Hold for seven. Exhale. One more time, four seconds into the belly. Hold. Eight second exhale. That is the end of our Water Flow Wednesday session. Hopefully you're feeling the benefits of that breathwork tool, of those movement tools as well, and you're feeling the calming effects on your nervous system. If you remember to check in on yourself at the beginning of the session, ask you to see where your thoughts were. If you've had a busy mind, check in again on your thoughts right now and see where your mind is at. Do you have a sense of peace? Is it quiet up there? Are you calm? Are you relaxed? I know I am. And I'm, I'm feeling those benefits out there, and I'm hoping that some of you will as well. As, uh, as we talked about before, we're all individuals, and there are tools that we have to find as individuals that we sync with, that we vibe with, that work well for us as an individual. But these are tools, so do please do give them a shot. Try what you can, find what you can, and add what works to your routine. What doesn't, let it go, and find that super effective routine that routine for yourself so that you can give yourself the best fighting chance against depression out here. We're all in this thing together and every day forward counts, every step forward counts, even if it was just a small step. Please do keep track of your progress, keep track of that number somewhere and that will remind you of your strength and your endurance out here in this fight. Until next time, 
I will catch you guys and girls same sack time. Same sack channel. Same sack life. Sack man out.